Hey, welcome back air gunners. And today I have the BSA Ultra JSR here in front of me on the table, which has been equipped with a Donnie FL Tonto moderator and an MTC Optics Mamba Ultralight scope. Now I'm not here to talk about this rifle though. I'm here to talk about the optics on top. Before we talk about that scope though, I wanna to touch base on a review that I did about two years ago and a scope that I've been using extensively over the past year on this Day State Red Wolf. And this scope and rifle combination unfortunately took a fall. It was on the wall here where you see the Brocock Bantam that fell to the ground, which is concrete. And of course I was devastated thinking that I had destroyed not only the rifle, but the scope as well. And I'm here to say that I did not. And that speaks mounds to the durability of not only the rifle, but the scope because it hit the concrete floor and I was able to utilize it in a field target match over in Wyandotte County, Ohio, just yesterday and everything worked out fine. So, and to kind of give you an idea of how hard this hit the floor, it broke the bubble level that I had mounted on the scope tube and it survived, didn't even dent the tube. So kudos to Aztec and Daystate for making products that are durable. So beyond that though, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the MTC Optics Mamba Ultralight Scope. And I chose that scope specifically for this rifle. It's a rifle that I'm setting up for my nine-year-old son to use and join me out in the range. Something that is finally going to be able to be utilized by someone of his size and stature. And uh, I wanted to make sure the scope wasn't going to be, you know, a, a cumbersome piece on the gun and that the weight would be uh, light enough that he could still handle it. And this scope comes in at just over one pound, and that's why I chose it. So a couple of other things, though, that I've noticed, the more I've gotten to use the scope, obviously it comes with some great flip-up covers. It has a magnifying glass here, so when you go to adjust your top turret, you can see the numbers very clearly. Uh, and the turrets, uh, you know, obviously they have caps, but they are finger adjustable, so you can adjust those very easily. Also has a side focus wheel, which, you know, as air gunners, we've all come to love. And this one goes from 10 yards to infinity, and it's very smooth, uh, you know, what you would expect on any top-notch scope. And then also the magnifying ring here uh, goes from 3 to 10, like I mentioned earlier, and it does have a nice stop at five if you are trying to adjust that without looking uh, without looking at it uh, you can actually tell where you are which is a nice feature to have especially if you're going to be using this light nice light scope out in the field for hunting purposes which is another great application um, you know beyond just being able to use it on a youth rifle it could also be used on a hunting rifle as well for those of you who want to go, out go squirrel hunting rabbit hunting and so forth a great option you know, I can talk about all the details and, but you know, the details are important, but not as important as how it actually looks. So I have also taken some footage as using my scope cam and took footage of adjusting the scope, the reticle, and so you can get an idea of also how it focuses. So without further ado, we're going to go to that footage and I'll continue the discussion over there. Let's take a look at my footage I took with my new phone scope system that I picked up for this video and for upcoming videos. We start by using the magnification of the scope, moving between 3x and 10x. And again, you get to see the mill dot reticle here, which is also true at 10x as well. This is a lighted reticle, and what they mean by that is that plus sign in the very middle will be lit up. I did have some difficulty keeping it lit the entire time. Next, we move on to the turret system, and these are quarter inch MOA turrets, finger adjustable with screw caps. And as mentioned earlier, you can see the magnification device on the lens cap cover for the ocular lens in the bottom left there. Each movement of those turrets was very solid, very solid clicks, no real wobble between each click, uh, which gave me a lot of confidence in the scope's ability to repeat itself over and over again. And it did return to zero like any good scope should at this price range. 
finally, we're going to take a look at its range finding capabilities. I have two objects out there, one at 20 yards and one at 30 yards. I will say that the video of this was not as clear as I might like as I begin working on the phone scope system and making sure I get the best video possible. But you can see that it does clearly uh, help you range find and it's something I would not hesitate to use in the field. Man, just even looking through this, through the windows here in the studio, I can tell how nice this glass is. Uh, it's something that my son's gonna use obviously for years to come. And it's something that I'm glad that I have purchased to use and let him use. So his experience can be a top notch shooting experience and one that he won't find frustrating. So, hey you guys, stay tuned. We've obviously got more reviews coming your way, including this BSA Ultra JSR and also a regular BSA Ultra coming up. So until next time, may your pellets fly straight and your trigger pull stay smooth, and we'll see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.